Good afternoon. My name is Brent Lewis. I'm studying Arctic Grayling in the Little Hanny River in Northwest Territories. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made this project possible. Thank you to the W. Garfield Weston Foundation and WCS Canada for this fellowship and allowing myself and fellow researchers to study in beautiful northern Canada. As a beneficiary of this funding, I'm hoping that within the next few minutes, I will not only tell you about my research and my enthusiasm for fish, but I would like you to follow this video as a day in the life of a fisheries researcher. I study at the University of Waterloo for my Master's in Biology in the Collaborative Water Management Program, and I'm the recipient of a W. Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship for Northern Conservation. My focal species is the Arctic grayling, which is a stream simonid found widely across northern Canada. The portion of the grayling population that I'm interested in spend their time in mountain streams and rivers. The main question of my research aims to identify where grayling are found in mountain stream environments and what corresponding habitat variables are important for determining their presence in those streams. Grayling are often negatively impacted by changes in their environment such as increased turbidity or changes to water temperature, meaning they are a sensitive indicator of water health in mountain stream ecosystems. If we can predict where grayling are found and the critical habitat they require, then we can effectively monitor their populations to detect any changes in their environment and mitigate impacts accordingly. Where there are grayling, there are bugs. Our research focuses on creating a study design that can easily be replicated by regulators and developers in the future to monitor Arctic grayling populations with the most efficient and cost-effective study design possible. Using single-pass electrofishing surveys and spatial replication in place of temporal replication should save surveyors time by eliminating the need to visit the same site multiple times and economic benefit by restricting the amount of helicopter time required in remote areas. As a real-world result, I am hopeful that my research will help provide regulating agencies such as Parks Canada and industry with a model to better focus their conservation and monitoring efforts and help protect water quality and critical habitat for grayling. My research is in the early stages of development, but some important preliminary results have confirmed some of the existing literature on Arctic grayling. Our study appears to support research conducted by Nicholas Hughes that found large adult Arctic grayling are actually found in high elevation streams, assuming they are using these streams as highly productive feeding areas in the summer months. As well, habitat variables found in spawning streams appear similar in substrate, stream morphology, and riparian vegetation characteristics as some of the tundra stream systems in Northwest Territories. These preliminary observations are exciting in that some aspects of my research support existing literature. It is encouraging that our research study design was effective at detecting fish and identifying habitat characteristics typical of Arctic grayling. My research will continue to explore the variation between mountain and tundra systems as my thesis progresses. The W. Garfield Weston Fellowship funding made working in this remote area possible. As you can see, projects like these require a significant amount of aircraft support, and without this funding, it would not be possible. Nice! There he is! Alright. Beautiful, nice. Freshwater environments are an integral aspect to the Canadian landscape, and thanks to the W. Garfield Weston Fellowship for Northern Conservation, our research has the ability to directly impact the way regulators and developers monitor these ecosystems. Funding such as this is what stimulates collaboration, and with opportunities like this, science and knowledge of ecosystems in northern Canada can continue to be explored. Again, I would just like to thank W. Garfield Weston Foundation for their support. I would also like to thank WCS Canada, Heidi Swanson and my lab mates at the University of Waterloo, University of Alberta, Parks Canada, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, and all of the many other contributors that helped out with this research.